I'd like to mention that on board, um, we know who was on board because on this account of Harry Thompson, he also clearly stated uh, who was on board and who went into each life raft. There were five life, uh, lifeboats on board. Now, when the Viscount Melbourne, it originally came from, uh, from Madras and it called into the port of Singapore to take stores, but it also took two new passengers, which was a Colonel Campbell coming from the regiment from um, Madras and he was being re-stationed in Macau. So he came aboard and there was a, a young woman, 22 years old, Mrs Dare. She'd originally left with Captain Dare from England, but conceived along the way and of course was left in a boarding house to have the child and the child was now two months old, the baby was at the breast and a two, -month, uh, a two year old little boy. She joined the vessel to return and rejoin with her husband whom she originally left with from England. So they were the passengers that were civilian passengers on board at the time. Now Mrs Dare she safely returned to Singapore with the child at the breast and the two-year-old. Colonel Campbell, once they left the boat, the five, the five lifeboats were left. They, they went aground at about four o'clock in the morning and it was a roughly around about four or five o'clock in the afternoon that they then left the, uh, and abandoned the vessel. They were attacked by pirates. The Laskers, the Indian Laskers that were our modern day ABs, equivalent to the ABs on board, they tried to get away, they didn't want to be a part of the group and they were actually killed by pirates. And Colonel Campbell went ashore uh, to have a look to see what uh, was going on and didn't return. And that is why the Royalist actually came to Raja Brook in Kuching because the, he, they were actually looking for Colonel Campbell because he obviously had some status. He returned later compliments of one of the Rajas here who sent him back in his personal vessel along with some gold rings and, and uh, safekeeping. Um, Mrs Dare, there's another whole story behind Mrs Dare. We've, we've got the full, the full story of Mrs Dare and, and what happened to her afterwards and the two-year-old son he went on to establish rugby in Japan and I've recently been contacted uh, from a gentleman in, in Japan following that uh, account because they're giving a um, uh, they're celebrating that fact this particular year that he established that and Mrs. Dare went on to have a third child. We know that she died in Japan. We know that she died with the, the uh, Julius Dare in Japan. We've got the full account, the full account of Mrs. Dare and her life after the wreck and how those lives impacted and the history today that we have.